Hello, uh, good morning. This is Siva Devaki from um, Mass Miller. Thank you so much for uh, joining the webinar today. Uh, today I'm gonna talk about a um, very important topic uh, which has been uh, requested by many clients so far on uh, how to automate it, how, how to automate sending mass emails to a list view in Salesforce. Uh, so far uh, we talked about uh, sending out drip, drip emails or maybe uh, some sort of an email notifications using Flow Process Builder, uh, but we never spoke about a uh, list view usage um, in the same, um, the Apex action class that you see uh, when you're actually trying to automate using the Flow Builder. Uh, it's very simple. Um, again, it's gonna be a very quick uh, webinar today. I uh, just want to touch base on um, uh, what exactly we have to offer and um, what would be the syntax or what properties you need to really populate when it comes to uh, the Apex action class. So I'll, I'll actually show you uh, a quick um, uh, screen uh, shot and also we'll get into Salesforce uh, right after this. Uh, but just to summarize, again, if you're not too technical, that's okay. Uh, just understand that uh, Salesforce does provide a way to automate uh, stuff like you know workflows and stuff like that. Uh, so the latest, uh, or rather the um, most recent uh, version that Salesforce has uh, uh, requested all customers to move on to the Flow Builder, not use the workflows and not use the process builders anymore because they're going to be outdated um, in in maybe a year or two. Uh, so Salesforce Flow Builder is the way to go. Um, and then Mass Miller does have an integration with uh, Salesforce uh, Flow Builder, if, you, if you're aware. Um, and again, uh, it's a very simple Apex action class that you need to invoke. Um, so what Mass Miller supports is, uh, there is a way for you to uh, pass the Salesforce list view or Mass Miller list view API name uh, to that Apex action class. Uh, so the action class name is called Mass Miller email via mass mailer. Again, I'll show it to you how to find it. Um, it has uh, two different properties. One is the mass mailer list view API name and Salesforce API, uh, a Salesforce list view API name. You will have to pass uh, either one of them, not both, uh, because we're gonna uh, pick um, whatever the value that has been mentioned in one of these two. Um, so don't, don't pass both. Uh, otherwise you may get an error, okay? Um, so, Basically, you will have to pass that uh, API name and then rest of the values are mandatory, such as the from name, from, from address, um, and then um, uh, the two name, two address is not required because we're gonna get it from the list view. Um, and when it comes to a one more property that you would see record ID, that's mandatory. And then it, it's a little confusing on, okay, what do we really select here? So you will have to select uh, a Salesforce record ID, meaning you will have to manually enter hard code, one of the Salesforce record IDs that actually exists in Salesforce. Um, this is a workaround uh, just because that's how it has been defined. Um, so in, in the future, we may make this as non-mandatory. So we're still debating, should we do it or should we not do it uh, because uh, this is the only use case scenario where we find there's some sort of a conflict. So we still haven't really made any decision yet. Uh, in all of the use cases, which is like, you know, mostly majority of it, record ID is mandatory. Um, so again, once I show it to you, you kind of understand what it means. Um, so basically you will have to pass uh, a hard coded Salesforce record ID from your production instance, if you're testing in production, uh, if it's sandbox, it got to be whatever the record ID in sandbox. Uh, basically that record needs to exist. Uh, so that's a hard coded value that you need to pass. Um, again, it would be uh, the record ID that is related to the specific object uh, that we're actually trying to send emails to. Meaning, let's say you create a Salesforce list view and contact object. You will have to pick a record ID of a contact. It doesn't matter which record ID. Please make sure that it actually exists always. Never delete that. Um, and if you're sending it to sell leads, then it is one of the record IDs of a lead. It doesn't matter which one it is. Uh, that's what you need to pass. So, um, you know, apart from um, 
the bare minimum, which is from name, from address, uh, you will have to pass in the list view API name and this record ID, and of course the template ID. So I've not spoke, uh, spoken about the template ID because you know uh, this, the assumption is made that you are basically aware of um, this uh, Apex action class. Um, you know, just trying to kind of add more value uh, so that you can actually send a mass email to a list view um, using that API name. Okay, uh, a quick uh, screenshot. Uh, so again, uh, if you're not technical, that's okay. Uh, you can uh, work with your admin uh, who may be familiar with uh, Salesforce Flow Builder. And we also have um, like a, a paid service where our team can actually help you. Uh, with such a request if you needed any kind of a help. So here, uh, as you can see, there's a mass mailer list view API name and Salesforce list view API name. I've just given an example here for the mass mailer list view API name. I'll show you where to find it as well. I just try to give that API name and then rest of the values as in uh, whatever the rest of the values are necessary. Um, you will have to populate that. I'll again show it to you as well. Uh, so there's a quick screenshot. Now uh, let's get into uh, Salesforce here. Uh, so if you have admin access, uh, you would go to Salesforce setup and then try typing in flows. Uh, you get flows. And I have this flow that is uh, um, test mm list view email. I uh, opened it right here. Um, so how are you going to define this? It's we're going to leave that to you. So when and how you're going to invoke this uh, flow, it's all up to you. This is just an example. If you needed to uh, trigger an email to a list view, say every day or every week, that's something that you could do it. This is one of the examples again. Uh, you know, this is just saying, hey, uh, this is start date at this point in time. I want to send it, uh, send an email to this list view every day. So that's what it says. Uh, again, this depends on your requirement. Um, there's not a, uh, there's just an example, um, not that you have to do it this way only. Uh, how are you going to invoke uh, that particular, um, like uh, the list view uh, sending is, um, is up to you. So choose object. We have not really. Uh, choosing any object optional. Um, so all we are trying to do is send an email uh, to the list view using this Apex action class um, every day at this time. So that is what this example is showing. So um, if you want to look at this Apex action, again, um, I'll show it to you how to do it from scratch if needed. Uh, so basically, uh, I have this Apex action class that is getting invoked. Um, and then I filled in the record ID again, as I said, this is just a hard-coded record ID that exists in Salesforce. You can pick any dummy record ID that always gonna exist. Um, make sure you don't delete it, especially if you're defining a flow like this. Um, and I have populated from address, from name, um, the bare minimum. And I populated a mass mail or list view API name. I'll show it to you where to find this. Um, and then um, um, I didn't populate the Salesforce list view API name. As I said, either one of these two, you'll have to populate, not both. Um, and then uh, the template API name. Uh, so the template that I'm going to use, that's it. So if you look at uh, this one, like one, um, and this two, uh, three, four, only four parameters that are required. And if you have other things to, such as, um, I mean, this one, record ID as well. Um, so if you also needed to um, fill in other properties, um, you know, you may be copying or BCCing, maybe you're actually using an IP pool, uh, maybe you want to turn off, uh, like, you want to make it as transactional. You know, those properties are there on this Apex action class, as you can see, many of them are there. Um, some of them are kind of um, optional. Some may be um, mandatory, as you can see, from name, from address is mandatory. Uh, list view API name in this case, and the template ID for sure is mandatory and the record ID. Uh, rest is all optional. Um, you can also use template ID. Uh, doesn't need to be template API name. Uh, again, either one of these uh, you'll have to use. Um, so that's pretty much it, what you're actually gonna fill up. Uh, when you're sending a mass email to a list view. 
Now, how do you really find this uh, list view um, API name? So if you go to mass mail or list views, if you created a, a list view, for example, see a list is what we are looking at. Um, so even if you go to the details, you'll see the API name. Um, and um, if you're in the uh, edit mode, uh, you should be able to see the API name here as well. Uh, so this is the list view API name. So you start to copy paste that value and then you get to go. Okay, um, and again, uh, you you can uh, uh, you can pick up any of the um, uh, contacts as the um, the record. I, I mean, the record ID doesn't matter. For example, if you're picking up this contact uh, rec as a record ID, um, you can just you know, copy that value and then paste it here. Um, so uh, this may be a different one. I can. Take a look at it, which one it is. Uh, so you just have to pass the value. And then, uh, so I'm actually using uh, a different contact ID, uh, so it should be okay. Uh, so basically, any contact ID that you may have, um, you know, you can just copy paste that, right? Uh, so that's uh, pretty much it. Um, any any specific questions? Anyone? Okay. All right. Uh, seems like there are no questions. Yeah, um, once again, this is a, a weekly webinar. Uh, we schedule it uh, every week. Um, and if I'm traveling or something, I may be off for some time. Uh, but again, I try to do this every every week. Uh, we announce this topic um, uh, beforehand itself. We published on our website, uh, social channels, and also if you're part of our email list, you would receive an email as well. Um, you will be able to see this um, on our YouTube channel. Um, so you can uh, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, you can just go to YouTube and then type in mass mailer, you'll find it. Um, please make sure that you actually subscribe. Uh, that way you get to know any new videos that we are publishing. Um, once again, thank you so much for joining our webinar. Um, you know, please feel free, feel free to uh, sign up for the next webinar again. Uh, that runs uh, every uh, Thursday. And if you're new to Mass Mailer, uh, feel free to install for a trial. Uh, happy to get in a quick demo and uh, help you out with the trial as well. Thank you. Take care. Bye.